here are the pieces for my new Buford bucket front end loader. I'm going to put the, this on my X728, which I got last year used. This is September 5th, 2013. These are all the pieces as they came shipped to me from Hoosier Pete via UPS. i to get kind of a walk around view here. Very excited about the mini loader. I will try to record as much as I can about the assembly and installation. Okay, step one, mount the subframe to the tractor frame. That is done by putting three bolts on each side. There and there. In addition, there are two bolts that go on the front. That puts the subframe solidly on the tractor frame. And now we can proceed to attaching the lift arm. Next step is to attach the lift arms to the subframe. Note the long lift arm goes in the vertical position and the short lift arm goes in the horizontal position. That's uh, probably an easy mistake to make. Um, that is attached by two bolts, one there on the subframe and one on the subframe over here. I think it's a little bit easier to get the uh, hydraulic arm into the subframe attachment if you leave the upper bolts loose until you get all the connections made. Also, uh, you should cycle, you should hook up the hydraulic ports and cycle both cylinders before attempting to lift with load. That was a tip that uh, Hoosier Pete gave me. Okay, that is the lift arm assembly complete. Once again, just attaching a bolt here, a bolt here, and the bolt for the hydraulic cylinder for the lift arm. Again, make sure and cycle the hydraulic cylinders before attaching them to the lift arm or the bucket because they have to be full of hydraulic fluid. And here is the demonstration. <laughs> Next step is the bucket and the bucket lift cylinder. Okay, just to complete the installation video, putting the bucket, which has the lift forks on it, onto the lift arms was just putting a bolt here a bolt here and securing the lift cylinder, the bucket cylinder there. The lift arms are controlled by the black and green hydraulic lines and the bucket curl is controlled by the yellow and gray hydraulic lines. The whole thing took me probably an hour to put together and I am not super mechanically inclined which just goes to show you how well designed these things are. I didn't necessarily anticipate how handy these lift forks would be but for moving big logs or gravel, I'm sorry, uh, brush or anything on a small pallet, they're actually really, really handy. In addition, Pete made an attachment for me that is basically a steel plate which goes right here, just like that. And that allows me to use the Buford bucket to hydraulically move 
my boat trailer, and I don't know if you can see it way back there, my 6x12 utility trailer around with my tractor and not have to mess around with cranking it up and down on the hitch. The last thing that I got from Hoosier Pete is the tooth bar. I haven't actually put that on yet. It mounts right on the front of the uh, bucket after I take the forks off. And uh, I anticipate that that will be really good for uh, some digging projects that I have to do later in the fall. Incidentally, all of the uh, things that you see here, the entire bucket assembly, the forks, the hitch ball attachment, and the fork, and the uh, tooth bar, I was able to get for probably half of what a 45 loader would have cost. The trade-off is that I get about 42 to 48 inches of lift height as opposed to 72, which I don't have any use for lifting anything that high, and I would probably kill myself anyway. Buford Bucket Mini Loader. Okay, here's my first job I did with my new Buford Bucket Mini Loader. I put the forks on the front and I moved my brush pile from here. there and it took me about five minutes instead of two hours. <laughs> 